Tony Sherwood, CJ Geddes, moment to new rock stars. Questions for these gentlemen? I guess, Dylan, just an initial uh, reaction uh, for the, all those 512s and kind of seeds that you thought. What were the, the nerves waiting to hear uh, your name called? Uh, um, yeah, it was. we were all a little anxious. We all knew going in we'd be a 12, 13, or 14 most likely. So every time those teams came up, we, we thought it would be us. And we got a little anxious. But um, uh, when it actually happened, it was, it was a moment none of us are going to forget. Duke, what, what do you, 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 national brand, one of the blue bloods. What, what do you think of the matchup initially? Um, I mean, they're obviously an amazing program and one of the greatest coaches of all time. So, you know, they're going to be ready regardless. And um, it's going to be a tough matchup for us, just like any other game. Yeah, Chris, you're you're from out that way. Uh, you know, what what are the feelings of getting a matchup with that team? Um, I think it's a great opportunity. Um, like Dylan said, they're a great program. Um, it's gonna be tough for my mom. She's been a long time Duke fan, but she's a Wilmington fan now. So I think it's just gonna be a great experience. I'm just excited. You put it in your mind who you might uh, might take on uh, guarding in the game. <laughs> I haven't thought about that at all. Um, like I said, I'm just excited for the opportunity. How does this, uh, CJ? How does this all change? I mean, you you know you know you're in and now you got an opponent and uh, you know some somebody to prepare for here. Uh, you know we're just gonna let this set in tonight. Um, we're gonna get in here, start working tomorrow. It's a great opportunity, like these guys have said. Duke's a great program, uh, a very very rich history in basketball. Coach K is an excellent coach. Obviously, he is where he is for a reason. And uh, we'll just get started tomorrow. I know it's different because you know it doesn't matter who you get because it's the NCAA tournament. But is it a little more juicy because it's somebody like Duke and not say like Baylor or Arizona that's way across the country from you guys? I mean, they're right up the street. Um, yeah, a little bit. I think especially for you know these local in-state yeah. guys, it probably means a lot more to them because everyone around here grows up either a Carolina or a Duke fan. So it's kind of something. Um, it's part of your childhood for them, but for all of us, really, um, you just kind of dream of these moments with the opportunity to play you know, a national brand team like that that has so much history and just a great coach and players and it's something we, we all look forward to. Yeah, Chris, when you say your mom is a Duke fan, did you, she have you out at Cameron a lot? I mean, you've been to a lot of their games and stuff like that? Yeah, I went to um, a lot of games growing up. Um, pretty much any chance we got, we went over there and watched them play. Um, and Cameron's just a great arena to be inside, so it's gonna be great to watch them play. CJ, what did it mean to uh, see all those people show up and uh, you know, want to share that with you guys? We have a, we have a great fan base. Uh, the fans have supported us all year. Uh, and, you know, like Coach said, we, we have some of the best fans in the country. And, you know, when you lead a conference in attendance, and uh, they, they helped us get to where we are. Without them, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have won as many games. And, you know, it's just great to have a great fan base. When y'all were eating last night, if you, kind of, if you had taken an unofficial poll, from the guys, like, oh man, I wish we play, or I hope we get to play. Where would Duke have fallen in, and who would, who were y'all kind of like saying, like, it wouldn't be, wouldn't it be nice if we could play? You know, uh, I don't think. I think most of us were just looking at the bracketology reports throughout the week. You know, it was Maryland or Duke or you know Miami, Florida was the one for the longest time. Um, and then after that, we kind of stopped worrying about that and where where we were going to play. We were worried about you know, are we going to be flying? way across the country, we're gonna go right up the street, we're going to Brooklyn, but you know, it's just a great opportunity, we're gonna take advantage of it. Yeah, Chris, how do things change now? Getting ready and, you know, it's probably Tuesday, you gotta be flying out. Um, we definitely get our focus back, get back to after having a team to prepare for, um, working on the little things, scouting reports, all that, so it's good to get back in uh, that kind of routine. Anything else?